What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Coming 12 years after the release of the first episode of the show, gathering the entire already familiar cast, bringing new faces and plenty of other reasons will make Downton Abbey 2 the best movie yet. Here they are. When will Downton Abbey A New Era be released? The sequel to the 2019 Downton Abbey will be released on March 18, 2022. The film was initially planned to be released in theaters on December 22, 2021, but was moved to the spring of next year. Now let's see what makes Downton Abbey 2 the best movie yet, shall we? Twelve Years After the First Episode Downton Abbey is one of the most popular dramas in TV history, and when you think of all of the awards the show has won, you can't help but wonder what made it so successful. Except those beautiful gowns, of course. First, Downton Abbey has one of the best historical TV drama plots of all time. Following the Crawley family household and the staff they employed, Downton Abbey focuses on its characters in a very deep individual level. As you already know, the series is all about the aristocracy and lower grade. While its plot doesn't sound like something pretty original at first, once you start watching the show, you'll notice that it is very different from all the other period dramas that were released before Downton. The creator and writer, Julian Fellows, perfectly knows how to do his job, having won the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay in 2002 for the Robert Altman-directed Gosford Park. The 1930s mystery also features Dame Maggie Smith. Being aware of his abilities, he later produced Downton Abbey and, once the show ended, fans couldn't deal with the fact that something this good was going off screens forever. Thankfully, Fellows understood just how much fans wanted a continuation of any kind, and he created a film called Downton Abbey that was released in 2019. However, the film was so good that fans asked for a sequel, and we feel the need to mention that Downton Abbey is a high-quality show, unlike most of the shows and films that produce sequels nowadays. Nevertheless, Downton Abbey fans were more than pleased when hearing the news about a sequel, a sequel that will be released soon sooner than you expected. Yes, the aerostratic Crawley family and their servants are back, and that's one of the reasons the second film will be the best one yet. I don't believe even Mama will pick a quarrel in front of the king. I wonder if he can come early. <laughs> Dame Maggie Smith is back. Finally, more details about Dame Maggie Smith's appearance in the second film are known. Based on the first teaser for the film, the Dowager Countess is back at Downton. In an early interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the producer of the show in the 2019 film Garth Alwyn name practically confirmed her appearance by saying, All I would say is that one of the things that have been commented on over the years about Downton is that we've had plenty of medical misdiagnoses. Creator Julian Fellow said that no matter what, we should remember that at the end of the film, Maggie was by no means dead. Now that we know the fan favorite is coming back, let's check for some new cast additions. No, I don't mean your father. I know I, I love him dearly. No, I, I mean you. The fact that Dame Maggie Smith is coming back is amazing. What is even more amazing is that all of the big names are coming back to reprise their roles once again. This includes Hugh Bonneville as Robert Crawley and Elizabeth McGovern as his American wife Cora. Michelle Dockery is back as the couple's daughter, Lady Mary Talbot. When it comes to Matthew Good, fans were worried that he won't appear, but despite the actor who plays Henry Talbot not being in the trailer, he is in the credits and will be making a short appearance in the sequel which is the same case as in the first film. Lady Edith will be again played by Laura Carmichael and Maid Lucy Smith will be played by Tuppence Middleton. Then there's Emile de Staunton, Jim Carter, Brenda Coyle, Kevin Doyle, Joanne Froga, Robert James Collier, Phyllis Logan, Harry Hatton Patton, Penelope Wilton, and Leslie Nickel. Do you see? All of them are back. However, Downton Abbey 2 would have been nothing if there weren't some new faces to cause some drama. One of the new cast members is Dominic West. According to the Daily Mail, he'll be playing a rich aristocrat who is invited to stay at Downton Abbey by Lord Grandham. The second new cast member is the amazingly talented Natalie Bay. Some of you may know her from Netflix's comedy series Call My Agent. In Downton Abbey 2, the actress will play an old friend of Lady Violet and she will reportedly spill some tea regarding Violet's past. Also joining the cast in the second installment are Lauren Haddock and Hannibal's Hugh Dancy. Haddock will play Marina Delegish and all we know so far about her character is that she will be the one to break someone's heart in the second installment 
installment of Downton Abbey. There were some changes behind the scenes and this time we have Simon Curtis in the director's seat. Michael Engler, director of the first Downton Abbey movie, has given the legacy to Curtis meaning that we might see a different narrative this time. Let's hope the already familiar vibe of Downton will stay, despite these changes. Here's a fact that speaks loud on how successful Downton Abbey is. The original Downton Abbey ITV series won 69 Emmy nominations during its run, one in 15. The first film grossed over $193 million worldwide. Unashamedly feel good movie. Creator Julian Fellows is writing the script of the new film, with, as we previously mentioned, Simon Curtis directing. Now, Fellows perfectly described the next film, saying that the fans are about to see an unashamedly feel good movie that will present the societal changes that happened in the 1920s. It's really a new era, Fellows told people. The further the 20s went along, the more the world was changing in so many ways. Everything from entertainment to transport was really different by the end of the 20s. That's what we're referring to in that. He also mentioned in the second film, we will see how Lady Mary Dockery is effectively running the show, saying, We're trying to mark the change, the fact that the Crawleys of Downton are nearly in the 1930s, which is merely the beginning of the modern world. I know it sounds reckless, but I was 39 when I got pregnant. I thought I was barren. A promising trailer. The movie's title is something that explains what we can expect from the second feature film. The first film, as you probably know, focused on a visit that the Crawleys hosted for the royal family at their estate. One thing is certain, the second installment will explore the dynamic between the Crawleys and their servants in the new decades of the 1930s. Thankfully, we're not too far from March and Universal Pictures has already released the first teaser trailer for the upcoming film named Downton Abbey A New Era. With the entire cast back and a group of new additions, the trailer looks quite promising. In it, you can see the Crawley family leaving the English heaven for a visit in French. Lady Mary and Lady Edith are as looking as good as they did in the first episode of Downton Abbey, and in the trailer, the family is attending the wedding of Tom Branson and Lucy Smith. Production of the sequel started in April 2020, and the sequel is expected to be released on the 18th of March 2022. The second film is said to take place after the events of the first when Downton Abbey and its residents were preparing for the royal visit of King George V, and Queen Mary that ended with the grand ball honoring the royal family. The fact that the Crawleys are headed to the south of France in the second film proves that we're about to see the best from Downton so far. In the first movie, fans learn that the Dowager Countess is sick and because of that, most of the fans think that she will pass away in the sequel. A new era could either be linked to the illness of the Dowager Countess in her passing, but there is also the wedding of Daisy and Andy, Edith's new baby, and of course the entrance into a new decade where we will all see the characters adjusting to change. However, since this is is Downton Abbey we're talking about Expect the Unexpected. What do you guys think the new era means for the Crawleys and their servants? Also, what are you most excited about regarding Downton Abbey 2? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Thanks for watching.